A new exclusive survey by the Democracy Institute, Express. Co.uk shows that the Democrats want Meghan Markle to run for U.S. president as established politicians are viewed as too weak or failures. Most commentators believe that she will be running against a resurgent Donald Trump, who according to the poll could easily beat the Duchess of Sussex. The poll found that 68% believe Joe Biden will not be re-elected for a second term. It is expected a female candidate will be chosen to represent the Democrats with former First Lady Michelle Obama leading the polls on 41%. A source close to Donald Trump told it co.uk that the former president expects Ms. Obama to make a bid for the White House in 20, but experts have suggested she is not interested. Meghan came in second place on 19% despite not having formally entered the political sphere. Speaking to Express.co.uk Patrick Basham, director of the Democracy Institute, explained that Meghan was a candidate Democrats could pin their hopes on. He said, Meghan Markle is a candidate Democratic voters can project their hopes and preferences, because yes she is a well-known figure but she is not a well-known political figure. Although those who have a sense for politics know that she is of a woke, progressive, left liberal disposition, we don't know what she thinks in detail on a wide range of issues. That doesn't matter for most people. He added, among Democrats she is young, female, attractive, bi-racial. She has a certain pizzazz because of her celebrity status and all of that. She benefits from that being the fresh face and also by comparison with her would-be competitors. Writing for Mail Online last month Dan Wooten said Meghan was obsessed with US politics. He claimed he had, no doubt, Meghan, views herself a major political figure of the future. The GB News presenter said, after all, what's bigger than being a princess in the British royal family? becoming the first female president of the United States, of course. The poll surveyed 1,500 likely American voters between August 2 and 4, consisting of 35% Democrat, 33% Republican and 32% Independent voters.